can't wait. All of the things I've been craving for. It's so difficult to find Isao. I got it from a reliable source. So this room comes with accessories. Comfort Filipino food that we've been wanting to have for a while now. That crunch is delicious. Oh, I'm so excited for everything. I think they're about to kick us out of here. I guess we can't come back here anymore. It is a gloomy and grim weekend in Manila, so we decided to escape the hustle and bustle of the city and move to a different busy city. <laughs> we came out to San Fernando today to explore a little bit, to get out of Manila, to get out of the rut and just see a different side of the Philippines, a different city life of the Philippines. So we came out here to one of my favorite spots in Pampanga, which is Souk and the hotel that is attached directly to Souk. We'll give you guys a little bit of an overview of this place a little bit later, but first things first, we drove here for two hours in the worst traffic you can imagine. So I need coffee, let's go. Before we go for coffee, what is your first impression of this place? Oh, I love it. It's very, very peculiar, very unique, and it's very eclectic to a point. And I love that it's just very calming and very relaxing. I yeah, love that. Nice, right? Yeah, very And I, nice. I'm excited to show you how amazing the Filipino food is here. <laughs> I can't wait. I, I, I can't help myself. And I looked at the menu online and it's all of the things I've been craving for. Basically, sisig, some binagoongan, bagoong, rice, and all that stuff. And I, I can't wait to read. I'm yeah, quite go. hungry, actually. I didn't really have any lunch. So I'm keeping that appetite for dinner. Living in the Philippines means living on the ring of fire. And that inevitably comes with storms, earthquakes, and volcano eruptions. And sooner or later, it's just a matter of time, this happens. <laughs> But even if we wouldn't have to deal with all of that, with the current political situation, the way that things are just developing with solar storms and other risk factors, it's borderline irresponsible to not have an emergency plan. And with my Blue Eti AC300, I do have an emergency plan. But what exactly is the AC300 with its extendable B300? Short answer, it's peace of mind. Long answer, it is a power supply that will keep you and your family safe when it comes down to it. So in a recent vlog, we took this device out camping and we used it to power up our espresso maker, we used it to power up our projector and charge all of our devices. But in a real life scenario where you are in an emergency situation, this thing can do far more than that. It's 3000 watt AC pure sine wave inverter allows for up to 6000 watts of surge, meaning you can plug in and power up multiple devices up to 6000 watts at the same time without tripping up this device, without causing a hiccup, which means you can power your refrigerator, your freezer, have the laundry machine running and turn on the coffee machine at the same time without this device breaking a sweat. But it's more than that. With its up to 5,400 watts dual charging, meaning you can charge it from a power outlet or with solar power, you can provide power to your families for long periods of time. Do you guys know how it is? Oftentimes there'll be a power outage, it'll come back on for a few hours and then go out again. Those few hours are more than enough to charge this device up fully again. And it supports 2,400 watts of pure solar charging as well. So if you order the solar panels as an extra, you can keep this device having a constant charge, meaning that you'll be supplied with power, with air conditioning, with refrigerated food for many, many days without a problem. But let's look at a few real life scenarios. Let's go around the house, find a few devices and see if this can power them up. Let's start off with the oven. We have here 2.85 kilowatts. That's 2,850 watts. Easy. But what about the refrigerator? Arguably one of the most important things to power up when the power goes out. Well, the average refrigerator freezer combo uses around 200 watts of power, meaning this fridge could be powered up to 60 hours, maybe even more. Well, how about using the rice cooker, the air fryer, while charging my phone wirelessly at the same time. Not an issue, not even close. Now we're not even pulling close to half of the surge power this device is capable of. TV. Check. So as you can see, there really isn't much that you can throw at the Bluetti that it can't handle. It is the perfect power core for an uninterrupted power supply and integrated into your home grid, it has 
blazing fast speeds of 20 milliseconds switching from the grid to your Bluetti AC300 power supply. But what really blows me away about the AC300 is the reliability, stability and longevity. On multiple locations have we had the AC300 run for more than 24 hours, literally from setting up camp till leaving back for home and there's never any issues, never any problems. I can always rely on the AC300 providing the full power. But even more so than that, the Bluetti AC300 with its B300 power pack doesn't need to be sitting at home all the time. It's perfect for off-the-grid living, for RVs, for outdoor activities, for travel and many many more things. I've used our device in so many different situations and I always love having it with us. If it's to power up a Starlink internet somewhere in the province or using my espresso maker while camping, Bluetti always supplies us with the power that we need. So thank you to Bluetti for sponsoring this video. And now back to the vlog. It's a hot chocolate croissant. And you, oh, look, that's so pretty. Very nice. Thank you. That is so good. Look at this nice latte. Okay, we discovered on Google Maps there's a place here. It's called Croissant de Pampanga. Croissant. And I felt like a croissant, so I went out for a croissant. Ooh. And my croissant just came out. Ooh. It's hot. It's a hot chocolate croissant. So what have you got there? So I just got something very refreshing because I've had two coffees today already. So I think that's that's good enough for me. And I'm starting my evening with a passion fruit drink mm. for some refreshment. <laughs> this is actually the first time I'm eating anything sweet in a long time because I'm looking after my health. Oh, look, that's so pretty. Very nice. Thank you. That is so good. Look at this nice latte art as well. Very, very nice. Oh. Expert barista here. Let me give this a try. Not bad. Nice coffee. A little bit on the hot side, but good. Very nice. Wow, what a beautiful sunset that's happening back there. Absolutely stunning. We just saw it in the mirror of the car driving over here. We were here at Capital Town. Capital Town. I was here many, many years ago when the biggest McDonald's in the Philippines opened up and uh, it hasn't really changed much. It's a little bit more lively because when I came here last time it was COVID. So obviously. Is it the biggest McDonald's in the Philippines? Yeah, apparently, yeah. And it's so cute because people are just here camping out, literally just pitching up tents and, well, not tents, but like putting out mats and having a little bit of merienda on this beautiful Saturday. This looks exactly like the McKinley Village. Yeah. McKinley Village, except, you know, you can see Block 2, Lot 22. Like, I'm guessing that the lots are not sold yet. That's yeah. why people have the freedom to, you know, pitch their pitch their camping chairs here. And it's a really nice, it's a really nice way to spend your weekend, honestly. Yeah. Here's a little night market that's just starting up. My love is already <laughs> is already aiming for some isao yes because in bgc I, it's so difficult to find isao personally at least i don't know where to get isao from where to get balut from so every time we're out like this i make it a habit to get some isao and some balut <laughs> some unhealthy habits <laughs> i saw the city passing by my window was in the crowd but i felt so alone at my phone like every other second my future was blurry and now oh my god this area is so pretty they put a lot of effort into making this really cute with all the little decorative items and these lights here and it's so bright and airy it's such a good atmosphere here i can imagine this is going to be a very nice place once all of these condos here open up i think this place is going to be really cute very nice it gives off a bit of a bgc vibe doesn't it the BGC of San Fernando, the BGC of Pampanga, maybe. Gray is not impressed by the sizable McDonald's. She says it's still too small. Pretty sure I've seen a bigger one. Where? But if they say, if, if McDonald's themselves say that it's the biggest one, then fine. I won't argue, I rest my case. Look, I got it from a reliable source. There's a YouTube channel called Making It Happen Vlog that did a video about the biggest McDonald's in the Philippines, which was this one. Okay, let us know in the comments down below. Is this the biggest McDonald's of the Philippines or is it not? Is Mike right or is Gray right? I think I'm right. Probably I just saw right. that it's... Let's 
give a quick room tour. So this room comes with accessories. My favorite accessory being peanut. Hello, peanut. Hello. It's good, it's good, girl. Go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back. Hello. So we brought peanut on this little trip and this is the cozy room. Look at this. Huge TV, nice little couch. Really cozy. Something. I gotta show you something. Look here, there's a bunch of kitties out here. Oh, she's scared of the water, I think. Aww. Yeah. I'm scared, Daddy. I'm scared. Daddy's got you. Daddy's got you. Daddy's got you. She's like, let me back inside. Let me back inside. I don't want to live it's on the streets. It's okay. Daddy's Daddy, got it's you. Daddy, it's okay. Daddy's, Daddy's got, got you. Daddy's got you. Oh, shame. <laughs> Little heart is beating. Let's leave her inside. Peanut, you're a cat. She's like, I'm an indoor cat. What? <laughs> First dish came out. Comfort Filipino food that we've been wanting to have for a while now. That crunch is delicious. Oh, I'm so excited for everything. Peanut. Ooh. We've First just, dish came out. We've just come out for dinner directly here at Souk and we ordered some delicious stuff. What did we order? So we've got chicharrones for a starter and the rest you guys will see later on. But it's definitely comfort Filipino food that we've been wanting to have for a while now. And wow. yeah, guarantee this. These are crackling still. It's making noises while we while we're just sipping here. Let's give this a try. Is it hot? hot. No. Crazy. How it's did I get crackling. It's still crackling, right? Wow. Look at that. That crunch. Wow. Oh my god. Yum. That is so good. That's delicious. So good. That's so good. Wow, that food looks so good. So here. We have lechon in a sambal sauce. Here we have spicy eggplant, and here we have crab fried crab rice. We're so excited for that rice, aren't you? Oh, I'm so excited for everything, especially the sisig. Yeah. I've been craving a pork sisig for a while, and this is a place that I know would have good, great pork sisig, and I'm excited for that. Oh, just in time, here's the sisig. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> Seems really interesting. 579 pesos for two hours, they will be losing money with me today. I have to eat almost a kilogram of meat per day. I guess we can't come back here anymore. Let's go! Let's go! Very, very cool, unique places that you would never expect to see out here in San Fernando. It is the next morning and we had an awful sleep, not because of the rum, but because of Pina. She was such a naughty little girl last night and she kept me awake for till like half past one in the morning. So I only got very little sleep, but we started our day slowly chilling out at the property, relaxing a little bit. It is a Sunday after, after all. And we're actually going to another exciting location later on, which we will show you in tomorrow's vlog, not in today's vlog. But before we leave San Fernando, we are craving some Korean barbecue. This place here is very, very highly rated. I know, they've got 4.7 ratings out of 400 reviews on Google Maps. And that's, I mean, that's pretty good to me, really. Starting, starting out so far, it seems really interesting. They let you pick the meat, they let you pick the sides. Interesting. How much is it per head? So it's 579 pesos per head. Cash made. And you only have a couple of hours to eat all you can, but two hours is more than enough in my opinion. 579 pesos for two hours, they will be losing money with me today. 
I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're about to kick us out of here. They're about to kick us out for sure. <laughs> they didn't. We've been here for 10 minutes. We've had four refills and What they don't know is I have to eat 200 grams of protein per day. 200 grams of consuming 200 grams of protein per day means I have to eat almost a kilogram of meat per day. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting a dent in their budget for sure. Well, I guess you can't come back here anymore, even though I really want it, it's so good. <laughs> no, just joking. They didn't kick us out for real, but I think uh, I think it was quite impressive how we were able to dig in deep. Actually, it's not impressive. We should be disgusted at ourselves <laughs> by the amount of meat that we ate. That's crazy. Uh, one thing I need for sure now is coffee. I want to stop by that Starbucks. There's this massive Starbucks here. Look yes, quite cool. It looks, yeah. Right? Looks nice. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so happy. That is such a good Korean barbecue experience. Yeah, for sure. The meat is so good and it looks so fresh. Although the cuts were a little thin, but as we said, we like that better because at least yeah. you get the chance to try every flavor variant before yeah. you commit to something. So we, we went to Chef Bar Boy here in San Fernando. Look, they advertise the best cheese. Because <laughs> Gray was saying that cheese is the best. So good, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go coffee. Let's Woo. go. This is really a nice Starbucks and it's something I really noticed about San Fernando. There's so many very, very cool places like the biggest McDonald's that we saw yesterday. Yeah, nicely decorated. The Starbucks, really cool. Souk, where we're staying now and the Hamandan Hotel. Very, very cool, unique places that you would never expect to see out here in San Fernando, but they have it all. And I've honestly, I've, every time I've come to San Fernando, I've really enjoyed my trip. I enjoyed the Lantern Festival. I've been to the Great Lantern Festival multiple times. Always loved experiencing San Fernando during the festive seasons. And yeah, it's just such, such a cool place and it's so close to Manila. Literally one and a half hours if you pick the right time to leave. And um, it's inexpensive to stay here as well which is really cool prices here in general are much lower than in manila like if you go out for korean barbecue for that quality level you'll pay a lot more if you go somewhere in manila so it's, right so it's a nice alternative if you want to get out of the city for a quick trip just to drive up here they also have good bus connections if you don't have a car you don't feel like driving they have good bus connections up here so it's really cool so nice everything on the expressway once you get out of the hustle and bustle of Manila, you don't have traffic. Really nice. Heading up north today on a little adventure. You like this place, don't this you? This is so good. I want to move to Subic for this place alone. Wow, we're right on time for sunset. Ah, it doesn't get much better than this, does it? <laughs> <laughs> you should have one of these at home, fully charged, ready to go. When the